Let us now discuss the second model from time and distance where the distance traveled in two different cases are equal but the speeds and the time are varying. Let us look at the first example. A cyclist travels a certain distance in 6 hours at a uniform speed. In the return journey, he increases his speed by 2 km per hour and covers the same distance in 5 hours. What was his speed initially? So as you can see here, initially the cyclist travels a certain distance in 6 hours. So the distance covered is in 6 hours at a uniform speed which has not been specified. In the return journey, he increases his speed by 2 km per hour. So there is an increase in his speed in the return journey and covers the same distance. Remember friends, this is the most important part of the question that the cyclist is covering the same distance in the return journey and that is done in 5 hours. So we need to find out the initial speed of the person here. Now as given here, the distance covered in the two cases is equal. So we can say that d1 is equal to d2. That is nothing but the distance in the first case should be equal to distance in the second case. Now we know that distance is nothing but speed into time. So d1 can be taken as s1 into t1 and d2 can be taken as s2 into t2. Where s1 and t1 are the speed and the time initially and s2 and t2 are the speed and the time in the return journey. Now we need to find out what is the value of s1 that is the initial speed of the person. Let us substitute the remaining values and try to get the answer here. So S1 is S1 as it is. Now as given in the question, the distance was covered in 6 hours in the first case. So T1 is nothing but 6 hours which should be equal to S2 is the speed in the second case. The question says in the return journey, the speed was increased by 2 km per hour. That is nothing but S2 should be equal to initial speed plus 2 km. So this can be taken as S1 plus 2 as the speed has been increased by 2 km per hour and the distance was covered in 5 hours. So T2 is nothing but 5. So by simplifying this equation, we can find out the initial speed. So here 6 S1 is equal to 5 S1 plus 2 into 5 10. So from this we can say that the initial speed 6 S1 minus 5 S1 should be equal to S1 will be equal to 10 and that is nothing but 10 km per hour. Why? Because the units here mentioned in the question are kilometers per hour. So we can say that the speed that we have obtained is 10 kilometers per hour. So friends, this is how we can solve these type of questions by simply equating the distance in the two different cases and finding out the required answer. Let us now take the second example from model 2. The question here is a student walks to school at the rate of 2.5 kilometers per hour and reaches 6 minutes late. Next day, he increases his speed by 2 km per hour and then reaches school 10 minutes early. What is the distance of the school from his home? So as we can see here, there are two cases. In one case, the student walks at the speed of 2.5 km per hour and he is late to his school by 6 minutes. The next day, he increases his speed by 2 km per hour. That means his new speed the second day is 4.5 km per hour, 2.5 plus 2. So when he walks at the speed of 4.5 km per hour, he reaches the school 10 minutes early. And we are supposed to find out the distance of the school from his home. Let us assume that the right time to reach the school is t. That means every day the school starts at time t. Let us assume the time taken in the first case is t1 and that in the second case is t2. So as you can see here, in the first case he reached the school 6 minutes late. That means from the time t1, if we subtract 6 minutes, we will get the right time t. So t can be taken as t1 minus 6. And in the second case, when he increases his speed by 2 km per hour, he reaches his school 10 minutes early. That means if the time taken in the second case is t2, to that time t2, if we add 10 minutes, then we get the right time t. Because he has reached early, he is before the right time. So if we take 10 minutes more, we get the right time t. So we can say that the right time t is also t2 plus 10. Right? If you can observe in the first case the time taken was t1. So from that if we subtract 6 because he was 6 minutes late. If we subtract 6 we get the right time t. And in the second case the time taken was t2. And as the student was 10 minutes early we are adding 10 minutes here to get the right time t. Now with the help of this equation we can get the required answer here. We all know that time is nothing but distance by speed. So T1 can be taken as D1 by S1 minus 6 minutes and T2 can be taken as D2 by S2 plus 10. 
Now, in both the cases, the student travels from his home to his school. That means very clearly D1 is equal to D2. So let us assume that D1 is equal to D2 and let us take it as D. So we can now substitute D1 as D divided by the speed in the first case is 2.5 minus 6. And in the second case again distance D2 is nothing but D divided by the speed in the second case is increased by 2 kilometers per hour. That means the second speed here is 2.5 plus 2. 4.5 kilometers per hour plus 10 but friends if you remember in the beginning of the session we have discussed that whenever we solve questions from time and distance the units have to be balanced on both the sides so as you can see here speed on both the sides is in kilometers per hour and time here is in minutes so this time in minutes has to be converted to hours before we do the calculation and as discussed time in minutes can be converted to hours by dividing by 60 so 6 minutes when divided by 60 is converted to hours and similarly 10 minutes when divided by 60 is converted to hours. Now from this we can say that d by 2.5 minus d by 4.5 should be equal to 10 by 60 plus 6 by 60. So from this we can take d common and if we take the LCM here we get 2.5 into 4.5. So 2.5 into 4.5 and in the numerator we have 4.5 minus 2.5 and this side we have 16 by 60. So from this D will be equal to 16 by 60 into this goes on the other side. So 2.5 into 4.5 divided by 4.5 minus 2.5 is 2. Now by simplifying this equation we can get the distance between the school and the home. So 2 here goes 8 times. 8 into 2.5 is equals to 20. 20 is 3 times in 60 and 3 goes 1.5 times. So we can say that the distance between the home and the school is 1.5 kilometers. The same question here can also be solved with the help of a simple shortcut formula. And that formula here can be taken as the distance will be equal to the difference of the time in the two cases multiplied by speed s1 into speed s2 divided by s1 difference s2. So this is the shortcut formula to solve this question. But remember this formula is applicable only for these type of questions where two different speeds will result in two different time of reaching the point. The time difference in this case is nothing but 6 plus 10 16 minutes. Remember friends, the difference should not be taken as 10 minus 6, 4 minutes. Why? Because this is 6 minutes late and 10 minutes early. So because the sign is changing or because the times are on two opposite sides, the total time difference should be taken as 10 plus 6, 16 minutes. And this can be verified from the traditional solution as well. If you can see here, we have got the total time as 16 minutes but not 4 minutes. So this delta t should be taken as 16 minutes and s1 and s2 are given in the question. So simply by substituting these values, we can get the answer. But again here as well, before you substitute time and speeds, the units have to be balanced. That means this difference of time of 16 minutes should be converted to hours. And then by substitution, we can get the correct answer. So as per your convenience, you can either use the shortcut formula or simply follow the concept to get the answer.